Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Matthew Girona. And I'm Jackson Talku. Today is Monday, March 2nd, and we're here with your morning announcements. Before we begin, let's check out your counseling announcements. Juniors and seniors, if you're interested in taking the ASVAB, which is a career exploration assessment, as well as the military entrance exam, sign up in the Career Center for the test on March 19th. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, there are two great workshops coming up for parents and students, including middle school students. Both events are on Saturdays, so you won't miss school. On Saturday, March 21st, Sac State is hosting College Making It Happen. This conference is intended to communicate the importance of early academic and financial planning to assure students have choices after high school. The program includes motivational sessions, practical hands-on workshops, career exploration, campus tours, and information sessions on preparing academically and financially for college. Saturday, May 9th, UC Davis is hosting Cesar Chavez Youth Leadership Conference and Celebration. This free college and career motivational event is open to middle school students, high school students, and their parents. The program includes information on college admissions, financial aid, scholarships, health and STEM workshops, tours, and more. The information with flyers and registration links was in your email last Monday. If you have questions or can't find the email, you can come to the Career Center. Seniors, if you apply to the University of the Pacific, their admissions counselor will be here on Thursday, March 5th, during both lunches to meet with you to answer any questions you may have. If you plan to go to Sac City College, if there is enough interest, their admissions counselor will come to our campus to help you complete the steps to register. This will let you skip going to their campus for the various steps to enroll. Is hosting. <laughs> <laughs> Cheerleaders, there is a parent meeting today at 6 p.m. in the MP room. To those who wanted to join cheerleading, tryouts begin March 16th through the 20th in, small, in the small gym from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Seniors, remember to fill out and have your parents sign the new Great America permission slip as they are due today in the student store. The new, the new date of the trip is on Saturday, May 9th, 2020. Hey Wolfpack, today, March 2nd, kicks off our music department concert series that you won't want to miss. Monday is going to be a night of jazz in the Black Box Theater at 7 p.m. Thursday, March 5th, is the Instrumental Chamber Concert, where you, will hear sh where you will hear solos, duets, small ensembles, and many more from our talented band students at 7 p.m. <coughs> in the PAC. Are you interested in programming self-driving cars or electronics? Then the ACRT is perfect for you. Our goal is to program and race many self-driving cars from MIT. No prior programming experience is required. If you are interested, please attend our meetings on Tuesday from 3.15 to 4.30 at HF2 or contact Ms. Hale for more information. Now let's pass it on over to Louise for weather. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Luis Gallegos and I am here with your weather forecast. It's currently a cool, crisp 53 outside, looking a bit nippy, but do not be alarmed. It will warm up throughout the day at a high of 72 and later tonight, a low of 41. The winds currently are roaring through the sky at a high of 23 miles per hour. Now, Tuesday is looking to be sunnier with a high of 75 and a low of 43. Now, don't be alarmed with the winds anymore. They will settle down throughout the week, reaching 4 to 9 miles per hour. Wednesday and Thursdays are looking to be our warmest days this week, both receiving a high of 77 even though Thursday is going to be partially cloudy. They will both have a low of 46 and 47. Now, when it comes to the weekend days, it's going to be giving us the cold shoulder for the rest of the week. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is going to be cloudy with Friday being a high of 69 and a low of 47, just like Thursday. Saturday is going to be 64 with a lo little low of 41. And Friday, Fridays, Sundays looking to be our, finally, Sundays looking to be our coldest day of 63 and a low of 44. More of the story, guys. Stay safe, stay amazing, stay warm. And that's all we've got for the weather today, Wolfpack. I've been Luis Gagos. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, Luis. Hey, Wolfpack, did you know that between the 2014 and 2018 midterm elections, California's youth voter turnout rose 20 percentage points? Today, tomorrow, California will participate in the presidential primaries on a day known as Super Tuesday. See your house will have tables open at both lunches outside of HN4 for you to participate in a mock primary election. Come out to participate and register to vote. Seniors, remember that your free FAFSA application is due today. CRC is still offering to help complete your application as well. Their drop-in hours today are 2 to 6 p.m. Also, if you plan on attending ball or any other senior activities this spring, make sure to check out the no-activity list frequently. 
You will find help in the Student Access Center in CRC room L, room L125. And remember that you will need to create both parents and student FSA IDs before getting there. If you need more instructions, please look at the Synergy email by Viv Keith Caldwell with more information on the subject. Now let's check out the informational fact MSA has for us today. The United States Department of Defense has estimated that upwards 3 million Uyghur Muslims have been detained by the Chinese government and put into detention camps. Of course, the Chinese government denies this, claiming that there are vocational training centers. But inside these re-education camps, Muslims are forced to renounce their religion and do things they are forbidden in Islam, like eating pork and drinking alcohol. They aren't allowed back into society until they have become a model Chinese citizen. Before we go, let's check out how the blood drive went. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Jackson Taku, and I'm here with Kayla Yota, and she donated blood at the blood drive. All right, so first question, is this your first time donating blood? No, this is my second time donating blood. The first time was here at school. All right, second question. How was your experience donating blood today? They're really nice and they're very professional and I'm very happy with my experience. All right, third question. Why did you decide to donate blood this year? Since I, passed, since I met all the requirements, I felt like it was the right thing to do. What's up, Wolfpack? My name is Josh and talk to you. <laughs> Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Matthew Jonah. And I'm Jackson Talk. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Banana, Banana Cream, Cream Pie Day. Day.